that helicopter right there. Yeah. Chatting in Beverly Hills with a yes, pair of comedy yeah. writers. That's uh, David Geffen going to the market. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that, yes, I think that is. You learn very quickly, even their neighborhood is material for a joke. Yes, that's a Black Hawk going to get a couple of avocados. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what's, that's what you get when you live in Beverly Hills. Max Muchnick and David Cohan are a true Hollywood power couple in a platonic sort of way. We are basically one for the price of two. Yes. <laughs> Lifelong friends, they are one of the most successful writing duos in a generation. Their credits include Boston Common, Twin, and Good Morning Miami. And a little show about our business, too. Good Morning Miami. You've got a nun doing the weather? I have it on very good authority. That will have some early morning low clouds clearing out by this afternoon. Thanks, big guy. Hi, Zena. They not only share a sense of humor, they share an office. Even the very same desk. This is what it looks like when we both make phone calls at the same time. So maybe it's no surprise that their latest creation is a sitcom called Partners. Hey, it looks like a cross between my Aunt Pearl and an owl. Larry King. Yes. <laughs> On set, they are co-everything. Co-writers, co-producers, co-creators, and as such, a little co-dependent. Uh, my mother and I think I'm the shorter version of him. Alec Baldwin. Yes, correct. <laughs> Do you ever get sick of each other? You guys are together all the time. No, we adore each other, Lee. It's, it's just, it's heaven. He still makes me laugh after all these years. <laughs> oh, shucks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we solemnly swear to be best friends forever. But Partners no is what. personal, because this TV script is largely about themselves. For our entire lives, even after we die, and even if we come back as a tiger and a flamingo. <laughs> Partners uh, is specifically about a gay guy and a straight guy who are best friends, and uh, that's kind of uh, our life. The big reveal at the end is which is which. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> like now, go ahead, tell us who is it. You can also say who's prettier. It's fine. We're, we want to know. I just love playing celebrity. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Michael Yuri plays Lewis, the self-obsessed gay half. Those are my clothes. What are you doing? Well. David Krumholtz plays Joe, the finicky straight hat. Your fiance is moving in. I'm making room in your closet. We're pruning. Why do you have to say we're pruning? Why can't you just say we're throwing crap out? Does everything have to be a gay event? Joseph, whenever anything comes out of a closet, it's a gay event. It's new territory for a sitcom, and yet both actors say it's long overdue. A lot of my best friends are straight. It happens all the time. You know? I only have one gay best friend, and it's this guy. <laughs> uh, but is that true? I, I don't really have any what are you, gay a best friends. No, I'm not you saying don't I'm like a homophobe. Gay no, you said best. I have gay oh, friends. Best friends. Okay. But you, you, I was that was actually a nice thing that I put out there to you, and well. you kind of <laughs> really. <laughs> it's not the first time the writers have incorporated a gay character into one of their shows. I know Leo's gone, but that doesn't mean you have to stop living or stop. Can I just do something? Brushing your hair. In 1998, Max and David wrote their biggest hit to date with another story about two friends, Will and Grace. Let's just check our coats. Good morning, best. Running for eight seasons on NBC, it won a slew of Emmys. Mine's the tan Camry with the scratch on the side. <laughs> At the time, many considered it groundbreaking, but its creators insist they didn't set out to make any kind of statement about sexuality. They Don't were tell me. just writing what they knew. I gave you my number, and you never called me. Yeah, you were too into me. Back then, I was only into guys who were into guys. <laughs> Grace, it turns out, played by Deborah Messing, was modeled after Max's high school girlfriend, Janet Eisenberg. All three met at Beverly Hills High School during a production of West Side Story. That's Max hanging off the set. We were jets, and I was the leader of the I was his leader. Yes. Here, Boy, on how, this stage. Yes. On this stage, how times have changed. <laughs> yes, don't you know it. <laughs> David, the basketball player, and Max, the drama student, have been inseparable ever since. Remember going to the prom together? Oh, that we did that. That's Actually, right. let me rephrase that. Yes. <laughs> do you remember going to the prom in the same car with our respective dates? Yes, we did do, yeah, we did, yeah, we did yeah. do that. Just how close are they? Well, when Max came out, it wasn't to his girlfriend, Janet, or to his parents. It was to David, his best friend. 
if I could tell the city, almost captain of the basketball the team. almost captain of the basketball team if I could tell him that I was gay and it was a non-issue then I knew I could pretty much tell my girlfriend and my mom and uh, the rest of my family and know that that it was going to be okay if you're wondering whether they ever managed to find time for anyone else well they did they're both happily married Max to Eric and David to Blair and their spouses know anything that happens at home is fair game for the show. As my neuroses and my idiosyncrasies come out, it's too far gone, it's out of the bag, oh. and then I try and pull it back quickly, and then I say, oh, is it, go is it gonna end up in the show? Of course it's in the show. <laughs> Everything's in the show. I know. Everything is fodder for uh, work the next day because uh, th those will make the best stories. I know you better than anybody, Joe. Something's wrong. Allie has hurt you, hasn't she? You want their lives boiled down to a sitcom. Show me on the model where Allie hurt you. <laughs> but Max and David have a knack for doing something others haven't. Was it the living room, Joe? Did, did she hurt you in the living room? Pushing the envelope the has never been their goal. Did Allie hurt you in the kitchen? Neither is pushing anybody's buttons. Was it the bedroom? <laughs> It's just about oh having God, fun. You in the bedroom. Oh my God, you guys aren't having sex. We're just supposed to write funny characters that say funny things. Two people who really love each other came together today. And at the heart of it, it's a story about best friends. You driving me crazy. Hey, come here. You